Prince of Persia is traditionally about combat and platforming. But we knew from the very beginning that the original gameplay was too demanding for casual gamers today. So the question was, how can we keep the original gameplay, but adapt it to fit the standards of 2013? The basic thing of Prince of Persia platforming is the feeling of danger. How a step could be a last step, but with the frustration of failing repeatedly. We wanted to make it challenging, but not frustrating. To keep it challenging for expert players, because you can make your own perfect path, we have acrobatic, fast and fluidic moves. For beginners, it still has to be challenging, but we made it more forgiving and easy to handle by adding assist and cautious move. Combat in the original had more danger, more uncertainty, but less feedback. This was really cool. It made it hard to read and difficult to understand. This led to player frustration, which was unfair to the entire player experience. To make the combat fair, we made it more intuitive and easier to anticipate. We did this by adding more signs and feedback. We also made it more tactical. You can sneak your way up close to an enemy and surprise him. Sometimes you'll face two enemies at a time and can choose how to attack your enemy. You can do this using our combo system. Use the tiger thrust to push an enemy off a ledge or the Serpent Strike to heal yourself if you're low on health. For both combat and platforming, a player is heavily dependent on comfortable controls. We wanted to keep the controls as simple and intuitive as possible. As simple and intuitive like your day-to-day -day interactions with your touchscreen devices. Therefore, we decided to go with gesture controls by default. We designed the gesture controls so that they can be used by anyone, everyone, not only traditional gamers. For people more comfortable with traditional gaming controls, we also have a virtual joystick. For Prince of Persia, the Shadow and the Flame, anyone can just pick up and play. In the original game, the precision required to control the main character was frustrating at times and the player was left with the feeling that the prince was clumsy and weak. So we changed the prince's image to what it is today, acrobatic and skilled. That's it for today. See you all next time for more on Prince of Persia, The Shadow and the Flame.